Good afternoon and welcome to the subcommittee on planning dispositions and concessions. I'm council member Ben Kales, the chair of this subcommittee. Uh, this is our 1045 uh, committee meeting starting at 1130. Uh, we are grateful that we were able to get to an agreement on this item. Uh, today we're joined by council members Vanessa Gibson, uh, Andy King, Ruben Diaz Sr. Uh, all of them arrived on time, if not early, we thank them. Today we'll be voting to approve one project we heard on January 14th, land use items 314, 315, 316, Belmont Cove. This approval will facilitate the development of a new 11-story building providing 157 affordable housing units, 19 enclosed accessory parking spaces and other amenities at 656 East 176th Street in the East Tremont neighborhood of the Bronx in land use chair Salamanca's district. This project will be developed under HPD's ELLA program, and thanks to Chair Salmanca's effort, at least 15% of the units will be reserved for formerly homeless households. HPD is seeking approval for disposition of two city-owned lots, a zoning map amendment from M1-4 to R7-R7X, seven seven and a zoning tax amendment to designate the project area as mandatory inclusionary housing area, utilizing option one. One of the lots of this project is privately owned, currently used for public parking. Two city-owned lots are currently used as accessory parking for New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. Chair Salamanca is supportive of the project, and I'd like to invite him to provide some remarks. We're also joined by Chaim Deutsch. Thank you, uh, thank you, Chair Kalos, and thank you um, to your committee. I um, wanted to come uh, here today and just express my support uh, for Belmont Cove. Um, you know, I'm excited about this project. This is a project that I've been working on for some time now where we're bringing in 157 units of 100% affordable housing. Uh, there will be a 15% homeless set aside, and this is a mixed income project where housing will be provided for the very, very extremely low income families, uh, low income families, and uh, working class families. Um, I want to thank uh, the administration and the Department of Health where we were able to negotiate um, parking uh, for, uh, uh, for, for, that, for that project. Um, you know, this, the way this project came together, there was a private lot and a city-owned lot. And um, in that immediate area, uh, if anyone has visited on Arthur Avenue and East Tremont, it's a very congested area where constituents of mine have a difficult time finding parking. And so we were able to come to a compromise where out of the 19 spots, DOH employees will keep nine slots and 10 slots will go to, um, to the constituents of that building. But I am also getting a comprehensive parking uh, plan for that immediate area to see how we can increase parking for both city employees and for constituents that actually live there. So with that, I encourage my colleagues to vote uh, yes on this project. Thank you, Chair. I now call for a vote to approve land use items 314, 315, and 316. Please, Council, please call the roll. Chair Kalos. Aye. Uh, Gibson. With my warmest congratulations to our land use chair, Councilmember Salamanca, this Belmont Cove project will be a welcome addition to the Bronx. Very excited about it, and certainly your ongoing efforts to achieve 15% set aside for formerly homeless uh, families is really a great component of our future housing. So I want to congratulate you and the team um, for a great job, and I vote aye on all. Thanks. Deutsch. Aye. King. Aye. Diaz. Permission to explain my vote? Granted. Mr. Chairman, I'm gladly voting yes, but I am kind of uncomfortable to have to come every time to these meetings and have to wait 30, 50, uh, 45 minutes, and the people come here early too to the public, and we made them suffer waiting for us. I wish and pray for the day when we all I point to our meetings. I'm voting yes. Um, the land use items are approved by a vote of five in the affirmative, no negatives, no abstentions, and will be referred to the land use committee for a vote. I uh, thank Councilmember uh, Diaz Sr. for his uh, remarks and agree we should try to start on time and uh, have a schedule that <laughs> is reflective of the actual time. and. Uh, I, I would commend our land use chair. It is, it is rare that our meetings have run late due to uh, continued negotiations. Uh, in this case, it did happen, but uh, I think it is, a, it is a rare happenstance. 
This concludes today's hearing. I'd like to thank the council and land use staff for preparing today's hearing and the members of the public and my colleagues for attending. This meeting is hereby adjourned.